the thoroughbred racing industry literally would not exist, could not exist were it not for the black community and for people of color. The first derby that was ever run in 1875 all but two of the 15 jockeys were black. Black jockeys won 15 of the first 28 runnings of the Kentucky Derby, dominated those early runnings of the Kentucky Derby as the Derby was building itself up. Isaac Murphy, who is widely considered one of the greatest jockeys of all time, period, he won three Derby. He was, you know, first black jockey in the Hall of Fame. Billy Sims, who is still to this day the only black jockey to win each of the Triple Crown races, the, the Kentucky Derby, the Preakness, the Belmont. He actually could really go on and on about the list of of jockeys out there who have not gotten their their full due unfortunately with Jim Crow with white supremacy and the spread of all you know of the racism they pretty much got driven out of the game they've never really made amends or had any kind of a reckoning for that The first name that comes to mind, Hendrick Carmouche, he is a jockey. He actually rode in the Kentucky Derby in 2021. Another veteran jockey, Deshaun Parker, he's five foot eleven, which obviously, you know, most jockeys are extremely short and small because they have to they have to be very light. Mark Sim, he's been out on his own on, as a trainer now for a few years. Very talented. Black people should know the Derby would not be the Derby without them. Its role, not only in the sport, but in this race, in it making it the most famous race in America. 